Hey everybody, I'm Tom and this is Shifter, a channel all about urban cycling and bike commuting. Welcome to all you new subscribers, and for those who haven't subscribed, please consider doing it down below. Look what I have here. Mirrors. Mirrors not to fix my makeup, although clearly I could use some. These are bike mirrors, and I can practically hear the furrowing brows of you Danish and Dutch cyclists out there. Why would you need a bike mirror? Part of the reason is I don't live in Copenhagen or Amsterdam. I live here in North America. Our streets are filled with giant steel monsters who are always trying to run me over from behind. Being run over from behind is exactly what these mirrors are designed to prevent. I've realized recently that I've been a bike commuter for years and I've never used mirrors. And it made me wonder why. I mean, those of you who follow my channel know I'm all about practicality. I think urban cycling should be all about convenience and getting to your destination. If bike mirrors are designed to keep me safe, why haven't I used them before? And the answer to that is, I don't know. So I thought I would test them. So I'm going to give some mirrors a try and see if it's something that I've been missing out on all these years or if it's just something that's not that needed. And to start with, these are handlebar mirrors from Hafni. These cost about 35 bucks. They mount right to your handlebars and uh, they look a bit like motorcycle mirrors, don't they? So I thought I would give them a try. Okay, so I've been using these mirrors for a couple of days now. And I gotta say, I was a bit skeptical at the beginning. I never really thought I needed mirrors uh, because I always just looked behind me. And I was worried that they would vibrate so much so that they wouldn't be useful and they wouldn't give me much of a view behind me. But I've been pleasantly surprised on all of those things. Sure, they vibrate a little bit, but the stability on them is pretty good. It took a little bit of getting used to, to get out of the habit of looking over my shoulder and instead looking down into the mirror. But once I did, I was somehow surprised that I could see things behind me. I mean, I don't know why that's a surprise. So it seems like a bit of a no-brainer. Like, why would I be surprised by that? But I don't know, but I was. One thing I will say is that I weirdly felt a little bit self-conscious of riding around with these things. When I took them out of the box, I thought, oh, they look a bit like a cat's eye. So I thought they were kind of cool. But when I put them on the bike, I'm like, no, they look more like maybe the ears of a moose. And also look at these handlebars. I mean, I've got my phone holder, I've got lights, and now I've got these mirrors on here. This is a lot of clutter for somebody who says all the time that I like the simplicity of a bike. This is a lot. I mean, these mirrors are big. Before I render a judgment on mirrors in general, are there other options? Maybe there's a smaller one that makes me feel a little less self-conscious. It would still do the same trick. So I went to the internet. And this is what the internet revealed to me. This is a new product. Uh, it's called the Corky Urban, and it's a much smaller mirror. It doesn't go on your handlebars, it goes into your into the end of the bar. Let me install that. We'll give it a shot. So this Corky right off the bat is much different than those half knees that I had up here before. First of all, as you can see, the original goal was to get a mirror that's smaller. It definitely does that. It's not cluttering up my handlebars. It's not a big, awkward thing. It just slides into the end of the handlebar. And then when you want the mirror, you just pop it open. And ta-da, there's your mirror. And so it goes in and out, so it's a lot less conspicuous, a little less, what's the word? Mm, cringy, I would say. Actually, I was even more impressed with this one, the visibility this one gave me. When you pop it open, it's got a super, convex, I don't know the terms for mirrors. It's got, it's got like a wider angle on it. So I felt like I had more of a field of vision behind me than those handlebar mirrors did. And so it just took a minute to set it up and I could see almost everything behind me. It's actually quite good. I was quite impressed with it. This thing costs about 26, 27 bucks, something like that. For an urban rider, what are you worried about? If you're worried about having too much clutter or you want something smaller, it seems like a pretty good, pretty good option. Still not ready to render a judgment yet. I've still got a couple more to test. Let's try the next one out. Okay, so I've been using that Corky Urban, that little uh, bar and mirror on my bike for a few days. And I gotta say, I quite like it. I'm pretty impressed by it. But that's not the end of the road because I've been talking to you guys on the YouTube community tab and on, the, and on Twitter. And what would I do without you guys? You gave me some more ideas. What if the mirror is not on your bike, but is on your body? And like, I guess I never thought of that. So I've picked up another option and that is this thing. No, this is not a child's watch. It is the Myclops. 
and it is actually a bike mirror that goes onto your wrist. Kind of inconspicuous, I mean, it maybe looks like a GPS watch from the 90s, but when you open it up, it's actually got a mirror inside of it. It rotates on here, so it's pretty adjustable. The idea being you get riding, you adjust it where you need to go, and you leave it. And if you don't need it, just pop it down and you don't look like you're carrying a piece of machinery on your body. So it's a pretty cool idea. But will it work? I don't know. Let's go check it out. There is the Myclops. So it does have the best name out of all of these mirrors. And it's interesting, I, um, out of the ones I've tried so far, the hardest to adjust to get in the perfect spot, but I did get it eventually. And the nice thing about it is that even if you can't get it in the perfect position, you just move your arm. Like if you, ha if you really want to see behind you, you just pick your arm up and look. It's pretty good, it's an interesting one. I guess you have to get used to having something on your wrist. You probably want to remove it wherever you get to your destination. But you know, in some cases that's probably not a big deal. I guess it's up to you. Interesting choice, very novel idea. In keeping with this idea of having the mirror on your body instead of the bike, there is one classic mirror that I haven't tried yet that I need to test. And here is the final one. This is the Take a Look Cyclist Mirror. And to be honest, I've been a little reluctant to try this one because of the image. I'm embarrassed to admit it, but this is sort of a classic piece of what we could call mammal paraphernalia. Mammal being middle-aged men in Lycra. You've seen these probably on those commuters who are decked out in full Lycra cycling gear. This is one that goes on your helmet or your glasses so that it sort of hangs out here and you can see behind you just by moving your eyes. I try not to be a mammal. I've, I've been known to wear Lycra on long rides, no problem with that. But I do think commuting should be about wearing your regular clothes and just getting to your destination. So I've been a bit reluctant to embrace this, but that's a stupid reason to not try a cool piece of cycling gear. And these are classics. This kind of fixed to your helmet, but often on my commutes, I don't feel the need to wear a helmet because I have pretty safe infrastructure on my way to work. So I'm gonna try this on my glasses. So let's give it a shot. I see. There it is. Wow. I can actually see behind me. Huh. Amazing. Hmm. Let's give this thing a try. So that is the Bike Peddler Take a Look Cycling Mirror, and I was quite surprised how good this little thing was. I mean, it's tiny, so I didn't know what to expect, but it actually works. I felt a bit like a cyborg because it was with me wherever I turned my head, and I just have to like move my eyes slightly and I could see behind me, so I feel a bit like the Terminator, but it actually does the job pretty well. I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised. A million mammals can't be wrong, right? Ha! And I'll stop saying mammal now. So I've got all four of my mirrors here. I've got the uh, Corky Urban that goes onto the bar end. I've got the, the Hafni Handlebar Mirror. I've got the Myclops. The Myclops is the one that goes on your wrist and pops open like that. And I've got the, the Bike Peddler Take a Look Cycling Mirror. Um, and of these, I think, the, I think my favorite is this little Corky. It just give me a big field of vision behind me and the most inconspicuous. So I think this one's the one that I'm most likely to use, although all of them have their merits. I would say the handlebar mirrors is just too big for me. I just think it's too much for what I like in, in a bike. The uh, Myclops is really interesting and I see how it could work for some people. I, I look at cycling as something that you just get on your bike and ride. I don't have to go run and fetch this and put it on my wrist each time. And ditto you know, with the uh, bike peddler take a look mirror. It's, um, it's pretty good. I mean, I like it. I can see why people would use it, but it's just not as convenient as the one that's always on my bike with me at all times. And also thanks so much to the companies who supplied these mirrors for me to try out. Uh, I'll mention all of them in the description down below, but super helpful. I really appreciate the generosity of these companies. But the real question isn't necessarily what bike mirror is best, because that wasn't the question we started out with. The question is, do you need a bike mirror on your bike commute? One thing I learned in this experience, which was really interesting was, 
how much I use my other senses other than sight when I'm riding. I never really realized it until I started thinking about how I could see behind me. But I use my hearing so much when I ride a bike, I'd never really noticed that before. I listen for vehicles coming up behind me. I listen for traffic around me. It's really like a full sensory experience and I don't wanna to get too high-minded about this, but this really opened my eyes, so to speak. I find like my head is always moving. I'm always looking in all directions. I don't know if I need a mirror in that way, that doesn't mean it's not for everybody. I do think that if you have limited mobility, for example, you can't turn your head like you used to be able to, or if your hearing isn't perfect, um, then a bike mirror can be super handy. I also think if you have, it depends on your commute. If you've got a lot of traffic around you and there's a lot of noise and it's hard to hear a vehicle coming up behind you, I can see how a mirror would come in super handy. I also think that anything that makes you feel safe and confident on a bike you should consider. So if you think a mirror is going to work for you, it's gonna get you to ride more, then you should absolutely take a look at them. Thanks to everyone out there who gave me ideas about which mirrors you like. Um, all of these have their merits, and I hope this was helpful, and I hope it helps you get out there and ride a bit more. Thanks for watching, see you next time.